up on the he's fighting at the end of the month. Um, well, then the next month, I'm sorry. He didn't give you that fight. Would you be willing to give him that fight? Should he be successful against Nakatani? Of course, I'm going to fight the, 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 the best fighters in the world. I'm not ducking or dodging nobody. I'm going to make the biggest fights happen. Um, whoever is next, uh, I'll be ready for it. And um, let's do it. And uh, one of the topics going into this fight, Devin, is that you know Linares had never been outpointed in a fight, and five of his all five of his losses have come out of knockout. You're the first person to actually beat him by decision. So how's how's that feel? That just showed my boxing ability. That showed that you know I can outbox Linares. Nobody ever outboxed Linares. Nobody ever ran up rounds like I did on Linares. So it was either Linares was Linares was winning the fight and they knocked him out, you know, they, because they had to knock him out. Or they just caught him with a big shot like Cano did, and uh, you know put the put the pressure on. Thank you. <clears throat> Even Demarco, if you look, if you look at the Demarco fight, he was winning the Demarco fight. You look at the Loma fight, he was winning the Loma fight. Um, who else? Um, I can't even think of other guys. Just to throw this out there, you know, we talked about Ryan Garcia and Lopez. Uh, Gervonta Davis has a belt. Can you do business with Al if if that fight presents itself? He has a fight in June. So if Lopez, you know, Bob couldn't get Lopez. What belt does he have? You said Gervonta. Would you consider him at all? You said he has a belt. Well, he has whatever you call that. Seven, what do you mean? Seven. Santa Cruz. Um, I think that you know, there's no. The, the great thing about this situation is there is no network problems. And that's, that's generally an excuse as to why a fight can't get made. So there are no excuses. So if, if Al Heyman wants to make an offer to us and Bill and Devin to fight Tank on pay-per-view, no problem. It's a massive pay-per-view fight. You know, if someone wants an offer from us, a sizable offer to do it on the zone, no problem. So I think he's in such a great position because there are really no excuses as to why that one of those fights shouldn't happen. And that's when I talked earlier about how I feel you guys gave Ryan Garcia a huge pass, because where's the excuse for that one? Same network, mandatory challenger. And it was just like, no, that's just not gonna happen. Why, why not? You know, I think there needs to be, people will need to be more accountable if those kind of fights don't happen. So now, Tank, Tiafimo, there's, there's, there's no excuse. Who do you think, Devin, is the best of the 30, uh, other than yourself, who is the best opponent for you at 35? Is it Teo, or is there somebody else you think is better? Um, all those guys are, are good. You know, I can't, I can't just sit here and just lie to the, to the media and not lie to the fans and say that all those guys aren't good. I, honestly, um, I think all those guys are good, and all of them will, will be a, a huge fight. But uh, I really want belts right now. Uh, I want to become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. So, I mean, the, the one that I will want the most is Teo. And Devin, I want to get your thoughts on the WBC franchise uh, confusion. A great magazine rep uh, recognizes you as a legitimate champion. Um, WBC President Marisa Suleiman has said that Tio Pino is undisputed, so it's, there's a lot of confusion. Does that, is that all that confusion make you more motivated just to fight Tio Pino and just decide once and for all? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank God for this victory tonight. You know, I feel like I put on a good performance. You know, I want to thank the fans, all the media that came out, you know, thank my team. You know, we, we worked hard in camp, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody on my team, um, thank you guys. You know, I want to thank my dad, of course. You know, my dad, he's been here, you know, day in and day out. We've been working. Um, he, he stayed focused with me through the process. Thank my promoter, of course, Eddie Hearn, um, uh, Elliot, and, you know, Grant, um, Elvis Grant, you know, those guys for, you know, protecting my hands. Ben Davidson, um, you know, my whole team, you know, we 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 stay focused. Church, of course, you know, church has been keeping me motivated day in and day out. Um, my brother Little, uh, my security, uh, my girl, of course, Jania. She's, you know, what I'm saying she's been uh, sacrificing with me. I, I haven't saw her in about eight weeks, so you know, I, I'm so thankful, you know, for this victory, and uh, I look forward to, you know, showing the world I'm the best fighter. Will you talk about that relationship with you and your father? Uh, uh, working together, how, how has that made you guys even closer, or has it? Of course, you know, um, me and my dad, like I, like I said before the fight, you know, we get closer and closer every day. You know, our bond is, is, is something crazy. Like, I start, sometimes I think that he's in my head, he knows what I'm thinking, it's, it's unbelievable, but, you know, I, I don't want to thank my dad, you know, just for, for everything. Without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Oh, I can't forget about my cameraman, Johnny. <laughs> 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 you 
man, the, the the whole team, you know what I'm saying? I'm so I'm so thankful for, for all of you guys where Eddie Kane at Eddie Kane. Oh man, I'm thankful. Frank, I see you back there. Thank you, Frank. Frank, <laughs> Frank the bank. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for your support and thanks for coming this week.